We'll start with item number one, resolution 2017R47. Points. I hope I pronounced this right. Jamie, Jamie East. James Barnett. Uh, all right, to the Irondale Education Youth Committee for a term of one, uh, four years. I sent her to my email when I uh, put this on that uh, she's, she's got an extensive background, um, sometime in Florida, sometime in Alabama, and she's also handled a lot of the administrative pieces of the education process, including handling of grants, mainly from a federal level. Um, she said she would be um, very pleased to serve. I would move to do that one the same. Is she here? She's not here tonight. No, she was able to make it. No motion for consent. Consent for everyone. Let's do it by the judge. Consent on yeah. item number one. Okay. All right. Item number two is resolution 2017 R48 provides funding for the Whistle Stop Festival in the amount not to exceed $1,000. I would still put one question out there as far as, um, I know Bobby Joe gave me his comments about taking from that line item on economic development. I didn't really ask y'all's comments on that. Um, I would, of course, be in that arena and on some of the things that may be coming up. I would be against taking anything out of economic development, even though it's late in the season. Okay. Yeah, I would take it. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the comment. That because even though it's late in the season, I would not recommend taking anything out of economic development because there are some things that are starting to come to the table. Mm -hmm. It may come back to haunt us in the second part of the year, the fiscal year. If we remove money from that funding, we may not have it when we need it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Discuss that further now, or you want to wait till we get to the regular council meeting and make decisions? I don't come back to it. Yeah, we come back to it. Okay. All right. So we're we'll going to resolution uh, 2017R49 approves uh, filing a lawsuit against David Creighton uh, mm -hmm. in Small Things Court. This is a this is a case that um, involved our police officers um, and damage that this individual did to the property of the city of the car, the automobile. And um, we want to pursue that because we think he should be held responsible for it. It's not a large amount, $1,500. And Walter uh, Firm has uh, agreed to represent us in that at no additional charge to the city. So uh, we just think as a matter of principle, it's a good thing. I would move we do that with no consent for sure. Resolution 2017-R50 approves Martin Schwartz to the Planning and Zoning Commission for a four-year term. Is this, is, is that? this is a mayoral appointment. Um, Marty Schwartz, I think most of you probably know him. I think he serves on at least one other city committee. Abatement currently. Uh, abatement. Um, and had expressed interest in doing this. Um, Back last fall, actually, and so I've asked him, and he has agreed to serve in this role. You had a question about that? I did on appointments. Um, as far as the terms, James, do we have a list of um, list of the unexpired? Uh, terms on a PZ uh, of people with um, the term limits? Uh, yes, but I could say that we don't have any more expired terms. Uh, a lot of those positions, I think it's one more position that needs to be mm -hmm. refilled on the plan. And who's this, who's out? Well, Max Bynum uh, resigned because of health reasons. And I can't think of the other gentleman's name, but he lives on the on 16th. He died and lives on the corner right there before you turn in the alley. He was going to go home. I can't think of his name, but he died. So his spot was left open as well. So we got two, so we got two spots. So among the council members, yes. 
Well, the Planning and Zoning Board is the only board where the mayor has the appointing authority. So the mayor gets to appoint the nine members to the board even if the council doesn't agree to it. Uh, this is more of a housekeeping uh, resolution than it is really determining if you want to approve or not approve the individual. And we do have one vacancy on the ZMB. If you think about that, that was from last council meeting when we added two individuals to serve as supernumeraries. Uh, but we do have one position that's left on the zoning board of adjustments. And that is the council. And that's the council. Can we do this one on consent? Probably Okay. Resolution 2017 R51 allows the city of Irondale to pay down the equipment price of eight 280 watt Cobra GE area LED feature fixtures for Mercedes Way in the amount of $34,321.21. Any discussion? This is just a standard proposal from Alabama Power. Uh, they actually give you a couple of options. Uh, one is to buy down um, the installation, the equipment installation. The other is to pay it out forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I'm recommend I'm, rec I'm recommending this buy down because the, the break even point is about ten years. So. Um, I mean, you could go either way. Uh, we pay $220 a month uh, for the lights with the buy down, and if we don't buy it down, then we pay $666 a month forever um, with no buy down. The break even being about 10 years. Is this, is this a budgeted item or a non budgeted item? It's a part of the Mercedes project, and I budgeted or non budgeted, I think we're over budget. Area, well, area there, so. my question would be, do we have to handle this like an ordinance or just a normal resolution? If, if anyone objected to immediately considering it today, then you would need to hold it over since it is an unbudgeted item. So in effect, you kind of get, I mean, it's what James brought up at, at a prior meeting when we had one vote that was dissenting. But, so yes, in effect, probably the best way to handle it is the way you do ordinances. Okay. We'll just go through that routine. And I know that um, there may be a, an abstention on the vote, but that doesn't mean that you couldn't vote in favor of it being considered tonight. Right. Okay. All right. And we're we'll going to item number six, which is resolution 2017-R52. Declares the real property located at 2808 Edward Street, Irondale, to, uh, to be surplus property. That is the property that you all discussed yeah. at our previous council meeting. Uh, you already followed that Ross Graham approached you asking about the possibility of purchasing that. You all asked him to uh, get an appraisal, which he, I understand he has done, and you have a copy of that. Um, to to move forward with that, you have to declare a surplus property. Mm -hmm. That's right. But what the agenda I don't think could say is both declare it surplus and authorize the sale at the appraised value. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether that made it into the revised. Uh, no, Leslie, what I did was to make it cleaner. Mm -hmm. I just decided to list surplus it first, oh, okay. and then we can sell it. Sure. So that's why I just, that's fine. just added the resolution instead of trying to put those two together. That, that's fine. I, yeah, I think it is a property that probably none of us knew that we own. Mm -hmm. so, and it's a piece of property, though. Uh, having walked the property, uh, it is so narrow that there is not anything I can think of that could use it as an individual piece of land. It's very, uh, the frontage is minimal. And you've got that big uh, ditch in, uh, in the middle of it. Yeah, and basically you need someone that either has property on the other side or hey. property to the back. Are we getting my thing? Before the appraisal was done, as we yeah, agreed I see by the uh, gentleman that's done appraisals for the city before I understand. That uh, market value is what it came in from this price. The cost per foot was 
almost dollar for dollar in line with the other properties that have been sold for in that area. The best comps that he was able to pull, this property is appraised, like I said, about $33 or something like that per square foot, something like that. Right. But it's right in line with what the other properties have been sold at per square foot. Even though, you know, like you say, it's a, uh, the topography is, is real steep or whatever the case may be, with that being a prime piece of real estate, are we doing our due diligence as far as selling this piece of property? Even if we can't do anything with it. You've got nothing around that you really do anything. I understand because the property, the owner has property on this side. Right. But at the same time, you know, are we getting out there market for, and I see the appraisal here. But are we willing to go in and sell it for that price? Well, I think that's the question before you. Are you willing to take fair yes. market price or yes. not? Exactly. So mm -hmm. that's a simple exactly. question. I I think we're gonna have to vote on that one and the next one. Yeah. All right, you wanna go back to item number two? Yeah. Or do you rather uh, a question uh, for you, Bobby Joe, on that one is um, on item number two. Um, with with Spring Fest, what was y'all's uh, total expenditure for uh, expenditure for 2017? Did y'all do it? I think you said there was a, a no for this year. I think you mentioned something about saving the city um, X amount of dollars coming in under budget. Was that for 16 or there was 16? That was 16. I don't, I don't have the figures here with me, but okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. We did. Based um, on the sponsorships that we had okay. and the expenses, yes, we did. Gotcha. Where, where do you see yourself What's training at this year? Well, so I, I guess. Me, but yes, we did. Fair enough. Just drawing a line in, be, in between those and not trying to put the two against each other by any means, uh, but one being one being budgeted for 12 and the other one being budgeted for 12. Um, one being a one day fest and an Another one being a two day fest. That's just what I keep going back to. Yeah, now it being a two day fest. Right, now it being a two day yeah, fest. Now it being a two day fest. So, two, I mean, yeah. just three, once again. Yeah, spring fest is only for seven hours, 12 till noon to seven o'clock. Right. And this would be obviously for a lot more hours. Mainly the fact that equipment, staging, and stuff like that has to stay out overnight. Uh, vendors are coming back for multiple days. Uh, insurance is a little bit more. So just trying to draw a little bit of a line and just say, hey, look, you know, it's not historically the same thing as it's always been. That's, I guess that would be my final point on that. Well, you did mention, you know, earlier that, yeah, mm -hmm. we did come in on the budget, plus we had, you know, sponsorships that helped out a lot. Like, sure. Um, I do understand it today. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have an issue with that. Um, what's really good about it, like I say, is good for the city. Yeah. And then I, I would lay that at your feet as well, Steve, based on your previous comments. So, you want to put it up for a vote, or? I think we'd have to do yeah, I'm, good with with the, I'm good with the, uh, okay. it's on the agenda. Okay. Yeah. take some time as a group and look at why we do these things, what is best for the city, and do whatever we do really, really well, even if it is less than what we're doing now in terms of the number of events. Uh, looking at it, and, I, and I'm, not, I'm not favoring one over the other, I just think we have a responsibility to look at the big picture and say, what does Irondale really mean in terms of festivals? Do we need two festivals? Do we need 10 festivals? Do we need one festival? Do we need no festivals? You know, what do we need? And how do we make that the very best that it could be? Whatever that is. So that this time next year, we're, we're unified and we're looking at it. We're not, we're not having one compete with another, but we're, we're moving ahead for what's best for our people. So I want to challenge you that after the dust settles on all these this year, let's take some time and talk about it and dig into it and really in advance make it what it really can be. 
Right. Leslie, we have time for the uh, second session. Yes, I, I can right. certify that I need to have a second session with the council regarding the matter of litigation and that I think we can be in and out in two minutes. Second session. Second session. Second session. Second session. Second session.